Alright, hello everyone. This video is a guide review and demonstration of the level 1, 2, and 3 hunter skills. And also, I'm going to say that from now on, instead of like telling or saying exactly what it is that the skill does, I will instead only give general information about the skills, but I will however leave my notes down in the description. So that way, if you do want exact information about each of these skills, then you can go and check my notes in the description. And also, if you are only interested in these two skills right here, these two skills are the ones that you unlock at level 125, I will put a time up on the screen so that you can skip to that part of the video. But let's get started with this skill right here. So essentially what Kick does is it has a 100% chance to knock back your target. Now, as you level this skill up, it will gain more knockback so you can knock back your target further. But the tankier that whatever it is that you're fighting is, the less effective the knockback will be. Then over here, our next skill, Sleep Trap. Sleep Trap will put your target to sleep and recover a little bit of MP. Now, if you don't know what sleep is, it's essentially like stun, but it lasts a lot longer. But however, if your target is asleep long enough, they will begin to regenerate health. So it is important that if your target is asleep, that you try to wake them up as soon as possible by attacking them. And of course, the perfect skill right here for that is right here, Sunrise Arrow. It's, essenti it's essentially an AoE skill that deals 100% or plus 100% damage towards targets that are asleep. But even if they are asleep, it still doesn't deal as much damage as, say, something like Sniper Arrow Rain. But I would kind of recommend it if you're early starting early off in the game, but it still doesn't do a whole lot. So it would probably be a better idea like to get Arrow Rain. So yeah, not that great of a skill, but it's kind of useful. Then of course we have Bear Trap. It essentially does this thing, or the same thing as Sleep Trap, but it, stop it stops your target. Although the stop on this skill only lasts for like less than a second, so I really wouldn't recommend getting it at all. And then of course over here we have Magic Arrow. It will basically increase the power of your auto attacks based on your magic attack. Which is kind of okay. But considering that if you don't have an arrow equipped, it's only going to boost your uh, the power of your auto attacks by 10% of your magic attack. Whereas if you had an arrow equipped, it would be 100%. Even so, it's, it's not really the best skill to get, mostly because its animation speed is kind of slow, so you can't really use it for combos. And if you're not going to be using it in a combo, then it's almost practically useless. Other than that, it also boosts your MP by a little bit. I mean, not your MP, but your AMPR by a little bit. So it can be useful at, say, like the end of a combo, or really in the middle of a combo, anywhere in a combo. But since it has its slow animation speed, it's really not worth putting into a combo, because it would just slow you down, and probably get you hit by an area attack, which it would be a lot better if you could move out of the way of an area attack, rather than get a small boost in the power of your auto attacks and a little bit of AMPR. Then, of course, we have Landmine over here. Landmine functions just like the other two trap skills, but instead this one deals a lot of damage, and it can also ignite your target, but it is a very low chance. Uh, I would say that uh, it is kind of a decent damage skill, but the only reason it's really a decent damage skill is because it causes magic damage rather than physical damage. And as a matter of fact, these two skills right here also count- all, th all three of these skills right here count as magic skills. So, uh, so obviously they are affected by physical proration and they will cause magic proration. So they are pretty good if you're in a party with like say a sword foo character, you know, they're going to spam a bunch of physical skills and you might still want to be able to deal damage. So landmine would be a good option if you still want to deal damage. Whereas a bear trap and sleep trap over here don't really do a whole lot of damage. But I would still say that this is kind of a decent skill. And in all honesty, you should make sure that if you're using any one of these three skills right here that you have an arrow equipped, because if you don't, they will barely be effective at all. And it's the same thing for this skill right here. If you don't have an arrow equipped, it's not going to do much. Anyways, let's go test out these skills. Actually, wait, hold on. First, I should probably equip this right here. So of course because of that, I'm not going to deal as much damage as I would with my Dexterity Talisman, but I will have more MP, so that way I can use more skills. 
Alright, so if I just attack one of these guys, I'm going to try to kite them to where they're all in general, generally just one area. And then if I go over here and place down my sleep trap, I can put some of them to sleep. I think I only got one of them. But if I hit them with Sunrise Arrow, as you can see, the one that was asleep took the most damage because it got a damage boost. Then of course, if I use Bear Trap, it's going to stop him. But only for like a little, less than a second really. And also one thing I forgot to mention is that if one of these trap skills gets hit by an AoE attack, they will be destroyed. So just keep that in mind when you're fighting something. Then of course, say for example, if I set down landmine right here, and I walk over here, I can kick that guy into that trap. Okay, it didn't, it didn't make him go in there, but if I had aimed it right, then yeah, it could have hit him. Let's see if I can get him. There we go, that's good. And then of course, I could also use Magic Arrow. And that's going to boost my NPR a little bit, as well as boost the power of my auto attacks a bit. But only my auto attacks, it doesn't actually affect your attack stat, so your skills won't deal more damage. So it's kind of a decent skill, it's just the animation speed that makes it bad. Now I'm going to try to recover 5 MP, so that way I can try to kick the boss goblin into a trap. Or a landmine to be specific, because that's pretty cool. I've seen other people do it before and it looks nice. So we can do that. Then kick. Yeah, that was pretty nice. So if I can finish him off. But yeah, anyways, you get the point, right? So anyways, remember to check the description for notes, stuff like that. Because I like to leave extra notes down there, especially things like notes on the skills and whatever that you're probably going to need since I didn't fully explain these skills. But anyways, that is it for this video, and I will see you later.